Hi there, this is Rob at Reason101.net and I'm here to show you a little bit about the Echo device that's new in Reason 6. Um, and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can use the trigger mode. So let's um, just fire up a, a combinator. Uh, I am going to load up an empty combinator with a submix that has a 6-2 mixer in it. Um, underneath that, what I'm going to do is I am going to create a Dr. Octorex. And I'm going to initialize the device. And then I'm going to load up a loop. Uh, let's go to the factory sound bank. Let's go to the drum loops. Then let's go to this wonderful new section called dubstep. Add in the first dubstep loop. Okay, very cool. Um, it's actually at 140, I believe, BPM. Is it? Yeah, 140 BPM. So let's just move that up to 140. That gets us the beat that we want. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, let's see. Let's go to other, let's create an audio merger splitter. Let's flip around to the back of the rack. Let's send the Octorex into the splitter. Let's send one output to here. Let's also move that up there. Let's create, uh, let's create a echo. And this is going to be rooted here, which we don't want. So let's just undo that. Let's hold down Shift and let's create the echo. All right, so one other split over here is going to go into it. Another split out to channel two. OK, so now we've got that. I'm going to call this the original loop. So this is the original, this is the echo. Okay, perfect. Now, what we'll do is we'll turn the echo to triggered mode. Um, let's flip it around. Let's create, let's go under other. I'm still getting used to these new menus here. Okay, let's go to others. Let's create a matrix pattern sequencer. Let's take the curve CV and let's send that to the trigger. And now let's change this to curve. And let's listen to the loop. Let's add in a bit of a pattern here. So now you can hear the difference between running the loop and having an echo that's triggered on just specific uh, beats. Okay, so basically the matrix is triggering the echo and the echo is being parallel processed over here. Now if it's a little too loud, you can turn it down this way. Or you can also turn it down by turning the drive down a little bit, or the dry wet. And you can kind of create some different patterns if you want. Or you can create a ping pong. whatever you really want to do here. Okay, so that's one way to trigger it. Um, now there's also a different way that we can use to trigger this. Let's uh, delete this matrix. 
Um, let's take this Dr. Octorex and let's duplicate the devices and tracks. Okay, let's flip this around. We're going to delete the splitter. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to take, let's delete that too. Let's take this loop. Let's send that over there. Let's take the other loop, let's send it down here. Let's send the output back up to channel two. Okay, so same kind of setup. Um, however, actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the main outputs of the second one and we're gonna put them to the one and two slice output. Okay, so basically you've got the first loop that's going to channel one, then the second loop, um, the output one and two is gonna go into the echo and then back out to channel two here. Okay, now what we're gonna do for this method is we're gonna turn to our slice edit mode. Um, let's turn on the slice, um, edit slice by, or select slice by MIDI for both of these. Now when you run them, you're going to hear, you're going to see what's being played and you'll see that the first one is being output um, because the main outputs are going into channel one. So you can see that being played. This is running, but nothing, you're not hearing anything because none of the slices um, under the output, just click on that, it's going to, through the main output. So there's nothing going through the main output right now. But what we can do is we can change that and we can just select a couple slices to go to the outputs one and two. And what this is going to do is it's going to send the output through the echo and back out again. And you'll see that because you'll see this light go on when the slices are hit. And this output should go there. However, it's not. Why is it not? Hmm, what did I do wrong? Output. Oh, because it's not triggered. Okay, so turn this back to normal. That's not a problem. Okay, so now you can hear it. And now um, it's still parallel processing because you're still listening to this. So what you can do is you can go over here to your first loop, go to the level, and on those same slices that we're playing, you can lower the level a little bit. So this is just the same loop that's running through, except you're hearing the slices that you select over here going through the echo. And the slices for the first loop are playing through, the whole thing's playing through. So most of your, your playing is coming from this loop, um, but you're just selecting a few slices to be processed through the echo and then back out. And again, if this is too loud, this is where you parallel processing, process things. You can lower it or you can raise it. One method that you can use, or two methods rather, that you can use with the echo. Um, you can change around different things on here. Um, the first method is using the trigger method in a matrix. The second one is using the normal method, and you're just duplicating your loops and selecting which slices are going to be out. Hope you find this useful. Uh, again, come visit me at reason101.net, where I'll be showing you more tricks with these new devices from Reason. Thanks for watching.